This section is on parallel and perpendicular lines, so it's continuing the idea of linear equations, and now we're going into uh, specific comparing two lines. So parallel lines, uh, if you remember, they are two lines that never touch. Now you've been in geometry, so you know now that these lines are coplanar. If they were non-coplanar, you could have skew lines, right? So coplanar lines that will never intersect. So the slopes of these, the ratio of the slope, the, or pardon me, the ratio of the rise to the run for these guys is going to be the same. So they have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. All right, so we could say, um, we'll write the equation of a line. The equation of the line that contains the point six, negative one, and is parallel to the graph of y equals 2 sevenths x plus 3. So what is so important, or what is the important piece of information that we can glean from this equation here? If we're looking for a parallel, to write the equation of a parallel line, we need the slope. So our slope for our new line will be 2 sevenths, and it's going to contain or go through the point 6, negative 1. So you have a point and a slope, so we can use point-slope form from last time, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And so I'm going to clean it up a little bit. We could also write this in slope-intercept form. So subtracting one from both sides, and then distributing the two sevenths. I'm gonna run out of room. It's okay. Y equals two sevenths X minus 12 sevenths minus one. And you know what, I'm gonna take that one and I'm gonna change it to seven over seven. So I've got Y equals two sevenths X minus That'll be 20, no, it'll be 19, 19 sevenths. So that would be, here's the point slope version of the equation. Here's the slope intercept version of the equation. So that's parallel. Let's briefly discuss perpendicular, similar idea. If you have two lines, they're inter they intersect, they intersect at right angles. So you've got right angles here. So the rise and the run of one line is very closely related to the rise and the run of the other line. They're actually reciprocals of each other and they are going in the opposite direction. So they're opposite reciprocals. So if you have the slope is A over B, your perpendicular slope will be negative b over a. So let's write the equation of the line of the line that contains the point we'll do 4 9 and perpendicular to y equals 7x plus 3 eighths. So we're looking for perpendicular, so we need to find the really important piece of information here, which is our slope. So the slope is 7, but we need to make it a perpendicular slope. So we're actually going to have negative 1 seventh. And then it will contain the point 4, 9, so we've got a slope and a point. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. 
add nine. And so we've got that. And then distribute our negative one seventh plus four sevenths. And I'm gonna turn this into sevenths, so 63 sevenths, so I can combine my like terms here. So y equals negative one seventh x plus 67 over seven. I don't think that reduces at all. So there we go. You have your point slope version of the line and the slope intercept version of the line. In algebra two, we will work with the slope intercept version a lot. All right, give some of these a try.